they turn out. Just be careful because this is going to be a lot slippier. No, I'm not doing it. Me? No. You're not stepping me. No, I don't want to do it, darling. Why? Oh, what a win. It's going to be like this when we're in Cornwall and all that. Oh, my page, please. Yo, yo, what is good, people? And welcome along to my latest video. I'm finally back at it after a couple of weeks away. Through no fault of my own, though. More my car decided to be a dick on me. And I've also had to feel, like, deal with a few other things as well. So I decided to take a step back from all of this. Um, but yeah, as you're about to see, this place is pretty awesome. And it's a pretty awesome place for me to uh, like get back into it with. So I advise you all to stick around, as this is unlike any place that I've shown previously. The place in question, Dawood, near ross on in Herefordshire. So this place first popped up in a book that I was reading whilst researching about Kimber. So it's taken me a while to visit this place, but I'm actually glad that I finally have. So this book mentions some caves called King Arthur's in Herefordshire, and a bit of digging, I managed to locate them here. Um, and I did a bit more looking before I went, uh, but I didn't find much else mentioned. Uh, that was until the night before our first visit, when I stumbled across a video showing what appeared to be like a tunnel. But more on that later on. We arrived at the closest car park I could find, and was met with these information boards. Now, pause and read it if you want to, but I will give you a brief insight on what they're saying. So basically some guy had to remove large amounts of material that had accumulated over thousands of years. <laughs> That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, and yeah, just like everywhere else, this place used to be below water and it's the seas and the rivers that have carved the caves into the dead, compacted creatures. I, I mean limestone. Like I say, pause it and read it for yourself. It does actually say that. Let's get into it then. And just a short stroll from the car park, you'll be met with this, King Arthur's Cave. Now, I genuinely didn't know what to expect from this place. All I knew was that I was looking at limestone and not the sandstone that I'd been accustomed to. But either way, I had a really good feeling about this place. So like usual, I'm not here to tell you what it is or what it isn't. I'm simply sharing these fascinating places with you all. But yeah, I will also give my two pennies worth as well. Now, it's crazy here looking at all the different ways the water has flowed in a past life. None of it, I don't know, carved by man for habitation, for instance. So yeah, it clearly fits the narrative so far. And I love how in certain places the water makes a natural step up or a step down, and it even has holes above the ground level. <laughs> Water really is fascinating. Now, whilst we're on the subject, I might not have been the best child in my class when I was younger, but I recall being told that water smooths rocks and pebbles, etc. Yet, yeah, look at all the ragged and jagged rocks here. Can someone help me out here, please? I love how the water carved this here, big enough for me to walk through, but then gets smaller and smaller, and then it's decided to jump a few foot up and then form this hole here. And yeah, clearly a natural flaw here if you look past the rubble and the mound like shapes. Now, regardless though, this is an awesome place which I urge you all to check out for yourselves if you are able to and I'll happily send locations to anybody that needs them.
Like I say, this was my first visit and the first thing we would come across. But I just felt like there was more to this place. And yeah, I'm sounding like a scratch record already. But notice the steps going up here and then the step down as well. Please, someone explain how water has naturally done that. The only connection water has to this place is when Jimmy was thirsty back in the day from carving this out and needed to have a refreshment or something. <laughs> I don't know. Call me crazy, but I just don't see it any other way. And so yeah, this is King Arthur's, what this place is actually known for. But there's plenty more going on if you have a little look around. And yeah, to keep this video fairly short, well, shorter than it could have been, there's quite a lot more to this place that I just haven't put in. Um, there's lime kilns, there's there's loads. Even the even the waters are pretty and beautiful and whatnot. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm not putting it all in because otherwise we'd be there all day. But again, it's a bit like my badger dingle. If you want to see it raw and and uncut. Please let me know. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'd seen a video showing a tunnel before my visit, and I was determined to find it. I mean, we hunted high and we hunted low for hours and hours. Literally everywhere I could think of, I went. Watch it, watch I even it. found myself in a few <laughs> tricky situations. Almost hurt Paige with a rolling rock here. And then, yeah, show my natural surfing abil abilities. Whilst losing my phone in the process. But more importantly, keeping that spliff in my blow? mouth there. Now, unfortunately, Paige did hitch stuff a little bit too quickly here. So, you're never going to know if I gobbed it or not here. Spoiler alert, I didn't. I even stopped and looked back at this video to see if there was anything recognisable uh, but I couldn't see nothing but then I noticed a comment and it had a bit of directions and it basically said walk through the village past the quarry and you can't miss it so okay I know where the quarry is so let's go as you can see a pretty massive place which I'm not convinced is or was a quarry, but big either way. So yeah, armed with those directions, I knew it was only a matter of time till I found what I had like come for, as well as the like caves. Unfortunately, an hour or so into walking around and <laughs> losing light, I'd been defeated, and I knew I'd be coming back. So it wasn't a total wasted journey. Uh, it was just annoying at the same time um, but yeah I knew like going away and coming back I'd have more time uh, to find things uh, for my return uh, which was originally going to be just a short few days later now on the way home I got a puncture in my car um, and further issues the following day with the car as well as other things popping up in those few days so those few days turned into a few weeks. And like I say, I was determined to find more. And during those couple of weeks, I did do a little bit more digging and I actually found more than one quarry in the area. And I also found mention of a few other things which you're going to be seeing shortly. As you can see, using the old maps, I managed to locate what I thought 
could be the quarry mentioned in the video that I'd watched. And the old maps even showing King Arthur's, but not much else. Um, and while we're here, let's take a look at the LiDAR. And hopefully you can make out the sheer amount in this area alone. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's even a hill fort here as well, which unfortunately I didn't get to explore. But I will be doing at some point. And it's just like everywhere else I seem to visit, which has a hill fort attached. I don't know, maybe hill forts and the like are merely sites to locate other places. I don't know, I'm just free thinking now. So that, but yeah, wherever there's a hill fort, there's usually something either around it or beneath it. Well, in my experience so far. So anyway, let's get to visit number two. A few pictures of the lead up before being met with this. Uh, a small cave opening, which if you look closely, I think it helps my theory that these places get buried. Now naturally or by man, I'm not too sure. But look back at the info on this place at the start, where it says the guy excavated like moved huge amounts of material which had accumulated over thousands of years so if that's the case here why can't it be for the same like at other places that i've been to previously and i've mentioned previously you know you can clearly see here the vegetation the logs the rubble all of this will eventually break down and quoting now bury this place further Looks like it's been backfilled, doesn't it? I don't know what to think of it. I'm going to say it's been backfilled, you know. Just because of the amount of rubble and logs in here. Can you get away from the cat please darling? I'm pulling out now. As we come out, hopefully you can get some sort of sense or scale of what I'm trying to say here. This has been back now bear in mind, we're about 100 metres above sea level as well. Yeah, I know I'm going down to that one now. Reminds me of a uh, highly. That quarry that we were at. And you use the term lightly. Yeah, it's been backfilled as well. And there's another opening here which appears to have been covered or buried. This next bit was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I did Look, get a yeah. little too close at one point. And um, yeah, this is why I want to start abseiling again. Holy Although shit. I'm quite convinced I do end up down this hole later on, which I'll show you later on. There's a big stinking hole there. I'm not going down. <laughs> Holy fuck. 
So considering where I'm about to go, I find it funny that this is the only sign of danger and it's rather small at that. But just like Simba, <laughs> I laugh at the face of danger. No, it's that too much. Yeah, anyway, well, I knew I'd found something like that. I knew I'd found what I'd like been looking for and try as I might, I just couldn't fight the urge. I did plan on looking around on the outside first, but yeah, that just doesn't happen. And yeah, just remember as you look at the entrance here, that the water naturally did this according to the narrative. And hopefully you can make out the step up and the step down into this cave. Like I say, water is fascinating. It really is. So let's have a little look inside, shall we? And it does go back about 20 feet or so, but it doesn't appear to be too much going on on the inside, does there? And you've got a slight apex style to the ceiling, and there's rubble and bits and bobs on the floor. So, what's so interesting about this one, I hear you asking. <laughs> I don't know. Not much. Not much. <laughs> Except this hole that goes down even further. Apologies for the footage here. We spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out all three of us, like how all three of us were going to get down. So I even had my rope ladder, but Paige just wasn't feeling it. So in the end, I ended up jumping, well, not jumping, I hung down off the ledge and then dropped. It was probably about 10 or so feet. Um, so yeah, and I decided I was going to do this cave by myself. Now, Octavia was unhappy on hearing this, so I agreed to meet them on the other side and then walk back through, as this was supposed to be the easier route of the two. I didn't get the vibe that this was carved out by water either, but then at the same time there's no obvious signs like you see with the sandstone either. Um, yeah. Rubble lining the floor throughout this place though. and I proceed down further into the abyss and you should see what looks like another passage blocked up and if it's not then please explain what the blocks piled up looking like a wall are so yeah it's at this point I look back and suddenly realise to myself hang on I'm underground by myself I've probably stopped for long enough yeah, you can probably hear a little sigh comes over me and I proceed on. But not before I stop again after noticing yet another blocked passageway. 
Uh, anybody interested in coming back with me to hopefully get through here, give me a shout. I know there's a few of you that I speak to now that I feel might may be up for it. So yeah, just let me know. What I think I'm gonna do is get them to I was wearing my hard hat. Oh my god. Everywhere. Now, as you can tell from my reaction here, we are not done yet. Wow. Oh wow. I don't know where to go. So it's at this point I went and met back up with Paige and Octavia and took them back through the tunnel, as I'd promised them. Now, if you want to see the extended version of this, like of the tunnel, then please let me know, and I will put it up. Um, so yeah, it was at this point, once we'd done all that, we had a break, had something to eat, and yeah, surrounded by all of this, I was just itching to carry on. So here's the next one, and the one which could be attached to something that I've already shown you. Left or right first, darling? Right. Just be careful because it's a little bit slippy. Um, we head into the right hand side to start with. And as you can see, more rubble littered throughout. Now, whenever I see this, I can't help but think it's been blocked off on purpose. Why else would it be stacked up and piled up in such a way? We need another torch. It's more so I can see where I'm going as well as just film what I'm seeing. But it's either one or the other, not both. I'm assuming this can is old because, it, well, it looks it and his tyres are even still a thing. So anyone, any well, ideas on an edge, can, yeah. let me know. Another can there. Quite far. Oh, pipe down wench. You got through the other one. Just book it down here. Yeah? Book it down here. Yeah? What the? What the heck? So 
Looks like it's been blocked in there. Looks like it's been blocked in. Here, clear signs to me things have been dumped here. Um, old cans and such. And yeah, as you're about to see, there is an opening here that, like I say, it appears to have been blocked up by whatever crap this is. And I also think that the hole I showed earlier is where this ends up. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly confident with that. So we head back out and into the left hand side and the floor it felt like a mixture of rubble and like a clay like substance. And yeah, yet more rubble piled up. And all of the caves and the tunnels were spray painted with either letters and or numbers. Yet another blocked passageway. Yeah, this guy's and if it's not, I'd love to know what it actually is. But then more of me wants to know where it actually leads to. So did I mention we're underground in a hillside about a hundred meters above sea level? And as you can see, we're met with this, and <laughs> you're probably going to hear me say, I'm not quite sure what, what to do. Dig. There's a sign here saying, do it pussy. Uh, but yeah, without going into too much detail, I wasn't a pussy this? and got across. However, I have no footage because Paige was being one at the time. If this doesn't lead to anything, I'm going to be annoyed. <coughs> Ow! So yeah, I was annoyed. If there was anything there, it isn't there. So, my personal favourite part of the two days is coming up. And I don't intentionally leave the best bit until the last. It's just usually how it plays out. Now, at this point, Paige this and Octavia anyway. were getting quite tired, so I said I'd go and check it out by myself, not realising what was actually inside of it. Um, and yeah, I wasn't expecting much, yet I was faced with two different directions. Now, it's at this point I went back out to convince Paige to come in with me. So, we headed to the left first, and although we walked through it for a couple of minutes, we were met with a dead end. Or maybe we wasn't. Again, I've cut that out and quite a bit of other stuff out. Just so it's a, like a respectable view in time. So those of you that have seen the short will have seen the lead up and Paige being told by Octavia that yeah, they are doing this. And this is what we are met with. Now remember, we're in a hillside, so the cave paintings, the, the, they did throw me off a little bit. Are they actual cave paintings, or is someone like recently just taken the pee or whatever? But yeah, if they are authentic, then it is pretty cool. 
Now the size of this room or chamber, whatever you want to call it, was immense. I could happily live down here. And like I said before, I've not come across anything like this before. And as you can see, it looks like it goes down. How far? <laughs> Not a clue. Not until I go back with a rope and some safety gear anyway. I mean, what was this place? An almost perfectly round chamber in a hillside. There was even another passageway, which you'll see when we get to the end is potentially a lot more. Now, why else would a tunnel go in this direction for zero reason? Yeah, just like the other blocked up passageways, this is also blocked up. Why? What's behind there? Like I say, this is unlike anything I've ever come across. And it only raises more questions than answers. And yeah, of all the places I've shown you today, this was the only opening I found that I've come across that was gated off why? not a clue it does say it'll be open in the summer and I do plan on returning here oh, as there are plenty fun. more places to uncover and explore here so if anyone fancies it let me know there are quite a few campsites in the area as well and as I've said previously I will be venturing as much as possible as the weather improves now, I am planning on being in Dorset for my birthday at the end of this month, March. So, if anyone wants to meet up or show me around, please get in touch. Now, I do have a fair few places already that I want to go to, but any and all local knowledge would be a big help. As always, thank you for watching. Oh, look out, I've been Nikki B, and until next time.